welcome to the Firefly Studio 67. Um, this is Gina. Today I was going to share with you guys how I made these um, fabric snippet like altered paper clips. These are using those giant paper clips that I accidentally ordered. Um, so if you're in the U.S. wondering about these, they're about three inches long or just under three inches. Um, and if you're in the UK, there's the 77 millimeters. So I'm going to tweak these slightly. Um, <clears throat> I'll just show you a close-up of the ones I made yesterday. Just something a little bit different to use these up, and I think they're going to be really pretty in a, um, in a journal. So I wanted to play around a, a little bit more today. And so today I'm going to tweak these slightly. Um, I recently purchased these from Nikki's shop, which is uh, Musings by Nikki on Etsy. And I absolutely love these uh, postage stamps. I ordered or purchased the flower and the uh, butterfly one. So I thought, well, it would be really fun today to play around and mix this with some uh, fabric and just see what we can come up with. So I went ahead and cut out one of the flower ones. Um, so let me just go ahead and get a butterfly one cut out. And now if if you just want to follow that, I just stamped that on some muslin. And then you just do it like a snippet with little bits and pieces of uh, fabric you've got left over from projects with your um, laces. And then the base of it will be the same as what we're going to do today. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I, I just love these. I cannot wait to, um, well, this will be the first project that I've made with them, but I think these are going to be uh, really <clears throat> useful. I was thinking, I was, when I came in this morning, I was trying to think of, you know, how I wanted to use them, and I've got several ideas, but somebody had asked me yesterday if I would please do a tutorial on how to make these um, paper clips, so I thought, well, this actually really lends itself to that as well. So, aren't those beautiful images? So, for um, this size paper clip, you're going to want to get some muslin fabric. Um, this is some of the flower, uh, what do they call them? Flower, flower bag tea towels, you know. Um, so I had some of that left over from some projects, but any kind of, you know, cotton, you don't want it too flimsy. This has got kind of, I'd say it's like a medium weight. Um, and I just tore those at about two and a half and you really want it to be about two and a half by four, but this was already torn at that length. So that's the reason these are slightly longer. So the first thing I did um, was took it, and you're going to want to, you know, if you've got a specific, I tend to always have mine made so that they're going to go in on the left side of a journal, but I have to really check myself. Um, I don't know why, it's just natural to do it that way, but I do try to, to make them so that they'll go the other way as well, otherwise you end up with all these embellishments that only fit on that that side so um, so just flip it over <clears throat> and making sure that that open part is on the top because you want to run it through that um, the long bit of the paper clip and I just leave about let's see what would that be about I'd say about a half of an inch overlapping and then you're going to run that through the machine. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, maybe hand stitch it, or you could glue it. But, yeah, you could just put some Fabri-Tac on there if, if you don't have a sewing machine. But, you know, I like to have that stitching. It just adds something to it. So, like I said, these were longer than they need to be. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit of that off real quick. Um, I'm just taking off about a half of an inch, and then I'll run that through the machine but and get that stitched, and I'll come back and cut it, and then um, we'll get started adding some laces and stuff to it. 
Well, actually, I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead because I don't want to keep stopping the, the video. Let me just go ahead and snip this. What I do, if you want it to have that banner, just fold it over and then from the outside going in, just snip it off there. And you kind of want it to be unraveled anyway, so I would, I would also just kind of pull some of those strings so it, it has a nice um, kind of rustic look to it. But the good thing about this, um, you can just make this project with whatever you've got on hand. Um, I just thought these would be super cute. Because what I'm going to do is put... In fact, I could go ahead and lay that out. I'm going to put some lace under here, and then I'm going to stitch those on. But aren't those going to be so sweet? And then I might come back and add a couple of little flowers. So let me just grab some lace and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so what I did, I went over and um, ran that through the machine so you can see just along the paper clip. Now obviously be careful because if your needle hits that, that'll be the end of that. <laughs> um, okay, so I just played around and picked out a few pieces of fabric that I thought maybe would kind of match and just just little pieces of um, lace and just whatever whatever you've got that you think is going to look good and just start placing those around now what I do at this point when I know I've got it the way I want it, and I kind of like that. Um, and yes, I did do this while I was off camera. Um, before I put this down, just going to go through and machine stitch that kind of like a free motion or crazy stitch, whatever you want to call it. I don't have the free motion arm, it's out of stock, I can't get it. <laughs> so, um, that's what I'm going to do first, and then I'll come back and sew along the image, and you'll see that up close. So the other thing, um, this one, I just think I like the idea of, this is like a mint green. I'm just going to put some of that in there, and uh, just place some stuff along until I like it. And then I'll come back and then embellish it a little bit more. But I think those, I think that looks nice. I think this is going to be really pretty in a um, nature journal. Now the other thing, as I said, you can do if you've got, sorry, um, stays on ink, that will work on fabric. So if you don't. You know, if you want to do this image, that's really fun to do, and you can just um, stamp those and just let them dry for a little bit, and then that that's just kind of cool too. And I'll be doing that probably um, with my bee stamp. I'm probably going to do some like that with the bees on it. So, okay, well let me run and do the first part of the sewing, so you can just see what I've done, and then I'll come back and um, stitch around it. <clears throat> You know, you could do it all in one go, but it's just I I prefer to do it that way. And then we'll come back and finish the embellishing, and you'll see it's just a super quick project. So um, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, there you can see up close. Hopefully the camera's showing. I did a zigzag around the image because I think it it kind of helps to make it stand out a bit more. You could use the black thread on this, but I it wasn't the look I wanted on this. Um, particularly when you're doing that kind of crazy stitch, because you can see back here, you're doing kind of a crazy stitch, and I didn't want that showing. Um, so that's why I opted to use the white. Okay, so let's see. I've picked out a couple of little things, I think, to finish these off. And one of them is the little... Uh, it was called... Dang, hang on. Random Numbers by Tracy. 
at Love Junk Journals. I love those. They're so cute. Um, and I'll just put that there. And then I think I'll put that little button up there on that one. And then this one, I just chose that. And I don't know, I've got to come up with something for the center of that. I played around with some buttons and couldn't really find anything. And then I think I'll just put that. I'm going to put it there. Let me just get this one done first because I don't know. Maybe I need a little bit more. I'm trying to figure out what to put for him. Let me see if I've got a tiny button. Sorry guys, I've got my jar here. I just want to see if I've got something really, really small that I can put in the center. That one might work. Yeah, I think that might be. I don't know, it's still a little bit big. Ah, I like it. I'll do it. Alright, let me get my needle and thread. I'm just going to stitch that quickly. I mean, you don't have to see this, but I'll just go ahead and finish it off. Um, so, yeah, I hope everybody's keeping well. I've been uh, doing a lot of other things, which is why I haven't been around... No, I think it has to go up there. Um, so yeah, that's why I haven't been around as much this week. I had a lot. I was trying to finish off. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Nearly got this one done. I, I just love these little postage stamps. They are so sweet. I'm going to definitely get a lot of use out of those. Like I said, I was thinking I would do some um, of the see-through tags and have those in it as well. I think that would be cute. Oh, look. That's sweet. Yeah, I like how that's come out. And let me just very quickly get this other one done. I don't know, I'm not mad on that button. Let me get my other, this is my other thing of buttons I've been trying to go through. Oh my gosh. I so, okay, this is a, a request. <laughs> if you guys know any videos for how to use these buttons, because um, I just, I sorted through, and these were kind of like the the ones I wasn't crazy about. Um, and I know Pam on the um, Paper Outpost has done some charms, so I'm playing around with that. But any ideas on these buttons, let me know. Because I, I just can't bring myself to, to get rid of them. I think I need a little bit of lace under there. Let me see if I can find something. Just, just some little something, I think. So yeah, I, you know I like these quick and easy projects because I um, don't want to get too stressed out with anything too big and these are uh, 
Well, you can see how quick it was to make these. So, and you could just use you could use fat any kind of fabric really, as long as it's um, got a little bit of weight to it. So if all goes well today, because um, we're supposed to be getting some warm weather here in the UK over the next couple of days, and we're allowed to go out once a day for exercise. Doesn't that sound crazy? When you hear yourself say it, you just like, I can't believe this. We're being allowed to go out. Um, anyways, I won't get off on, a, on that. But yeah, um, so I think today, if all goes well, the river here has it's dried up. You know, we had that bad flooding just before this crisis. Um, and I don't know if you guys know, you know, but oh my gosh, so many people lost homes, their businesses, and then the coronavirus hit. I mean, it's been devastating. So the river has now receded and it's drying out around it where we normally walk. So we're allowed to go. So we're, we're going to try to take Daisy today and pick um, nettles because we've read that um, if you take nettles and put them in water and just I guess you just like kind of let them decompose in that I don't know how long it's supposed to take I'll have to look that up again I forget um, it's like an organic plant food for the garden so um, we're going to try to get some because they're just now starting to come up and we thought, well, we can combine it while we're walking and uh, hopefully get ourselves some garden fertilizer. Um, so the gardens, yeah, we're still struggling, but there you go. There's that. I love this one because, you know, I like the purples and the greens, but aren't they just so oh, happy with those? And like I said, the same thing with these. It's just um, same process. I just opted to stamp that focal point and then I added three buttons on those so um, so there you have it guys I hope that that has um, explained that to you it's you know none of my tutorials are ever very complicated I don't do complicated <laughs> except when it comes to the journal making then it, it tends you know sometimes I go off on some intensive stuff but um okay guys so that's the um share with you today stay tuned because i've got something very excited planned so you guys take it easy stay safe and i'll see you soon